everyone. I uh, am back with a new mini that I just finished. Um, I've actually been working on this one for a while. Um, a lot of work went into it. Um, I used the, um, it's a vertical paper bag album, and I used the uh, tutorial and binding technique by uh, my sister Scrapper, and I'll put the link down below so that if anybody wants to make this album, they can. Um, and uh, I used the Once Upon a Time paper stack by DCWB. So, yeah, just show you the album. Let's start it. Um, I, uh, you, I bound it with chipboard and uh, the, the, I used textured cardstock and I actually ran it through my texturizer and you can kind of see it a little bit, but not really. So the front of the album is just simple. I did, um, these are out of the sale bin at Michael's and I can't, I don't even remember who they're by. And um, these are EK Success um, self-adhesive borders and I just cut out two little pieces and then put these self-adhesive back pink blings in there. So, this opens up and I again use the EK Success border here, self-adhesive border, and I stuck the blings inside each of the little diamonds to make a big photo mat. Lots and lots of room for photos in here. Um, and another big photo mat. I try not to cover the papers as much as possible because they really are very pretty. And, um, you know, once whoever gets this album, you know, the, what's going to make it theirs is their photos. So I try to give them plenty of room to do that. Um, so on this page, it's just, there's a self-adhesive bling in the middle of this uh, nifty little design here. And then on the bottom, I just used um, Recollections Flowers, Blue Flowers. And then in every page, because it's a paper bag album, there are these tags. Um, and to make the pulls, and you can see the pull tops stick up, I wanted them to do that. Um, to make the pull tab tops, I used that textured cardstock again in a color that matched um, the collection. And uh, it is a die cut from my, uh, it's a Sizzix die cut. And I just, you know, cut out two of them and glued them together to make that pull tab. So I'm, I'm not going to pull them all out because there's one on every page and they all look the same. <laughs> okay, so on this page I made um, a pocket. Uh, using my Martha Stewart uh, scalloped ed edge punch and then there's a Martha Stewart stamp on there see it's very light and uh, and then there's a tag in there and it's embossed on the back you can see I used one of my I used a cuddle bug embossing folder to do that actually and then that flips open and you got a nice big photo mat here these are recollections flowers and then I used a ch I glued a charm in the middle it's a little butterfly see and then on this page another pocket with another tag with some journaling on the back and some embossing on each end another photo mat big photo mat um, I used one of those bling runners on the bottom and then another little pink bling in there and that flips open another photo mat and you can see sort of see see right there edge stamp that I used on that and then I used one of those nifty um, bling swirls and then on this side we have uh, this is another recollections paper flower um, and another pocket with another tag in there On this page, um, I turned this into a pocket, um, and then this is another one of my die cuts uh, and a piece of textured cardstock, and then I stuck those little blings in there. And then the tag comes out of that. It's just one big tag. And then on this side, I used stickles inside the scroll edging on there, and then I just used a bling roll here. And then another pocket page with another tag in it. And then here 
I used a piece of part of the design on the paper to hold a tag in and that comes out. It's just a tag. Another, another one with the EK Success self-adhesive backing to make an edge. And then another, I have to move that down again, it keeps popping up. Another um, pocket with the Martha Stewart edge punch and stamping on the bottom. And another tag. And then on this page, I used Rapunzel's hair here, like I cut out an extra piece to hold in the tag and another pocket page with another tag this one also has journaling on it but in the in the that like gold color and then on this page another photo mat i used a die in the back and then i put a prima flower on the top of that and then on this page the tag matches the paper um, on the back and I used a border punch for this. It's not a Martha Stewart. I can't remember uh, Who makes this I'm sorry and then Another embossed tag a journaling on it and a stamp and that opens up. And then you have another pocket page with another And then another photo mat, and this has border stamp on the end, on the bottom. And then I put stickles on these ivy leaves here and a bling, and then I added these cute little charms. On this page, another big old photo mat, and I used another one of those EK Success. I just cut out the square part of it and put that on the back and then on top of that I adhered a few of these flowers. And then on this page I used, I cut out, I cut this out of the paper, put a little bling in the middle of it and used that to hold this tag on that is also embossed on the back. And then on the last two pages it's just another pocket page, another tag, and then it says off on an adventure. And then it's got a die in the back, a few of the blue flowers in the back, and a prima on the top. And then the back is just plain. So that's it. That's my album. Um, I really enjoyed making this one. It was fairly involved. It took a little time, but I'm really, really pleased with how it came out. Um, I think it looks really nice, and I really like it. And um, like I said, I'll put the um, link down below to my sister scrapper if you decide that you want to make that. So I hope everyone likes it. And um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please put them down below. Um, and it's Friday, which is awesome because weekends, weekends are great. So I hope everybody enjoys their weekend and I will see you on my next album.